Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. This is a new video but an old video. I uploaded it some time ago, editing issue, like always on my videos, drives me mad. And uh, now I'm going to do it this time. If you don't like um, injuries like fingers off and that kind of stuff, don't watch the video. I know that all the... Um, Images are fake because the safety video, they're all fake, none of them are true, but they are quite horrific to see. It's supposed to be funny because it's the um, the voice overlay. Let's give it a go. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't like squeamy stuff, don't watch it. Let's do this. Warning, the stunts in this movie were performed by professionals and special effects experts, so neither you oh, no, nor no, your no, dumb no, buddies no. should attempt anything no, from this no. movie. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the world of the Educational Resources Incorporated videos for safety meetings. Will you be here tomorrow? Every time I clock into work, I gotta remind myself that this could be the end of my life. Just the other day, my buddy Tom went to the trash compactor to fix it, and I ain't ever seen him since. Hell, God, God, Jesus Christ! I wonder if they fired him. Oh yeah, and it was that one guy, Ted, and he wasn't the smartest of the bunch. Thought he could use some faulty pallets to get a few feet higher so he can climb on up to the rafters and fix one of them pipes. But sure enough, those pallets gave out. <laughs> Sean was a man of passion. People would always say him and his wife were inseparable, but I guess the only thing that could separate them was improper safety precautions. Oh yeah, and I remember that one guy, Frank. He was a good guy. Just always had a problem with those stubborn nails. He never saw it coming, and he never will again. Fuck! And I'll never forget Steamy Steve. Poor bastard busted open a pipe full of toxic waste. My incident happened when I was working on the hypersonic grinder. And that sucker's fast, but I thought I was faster. And they done told me, John, don't you put your goddamn Please. hand in that machine, but it just looks so smooth. And oddly satisfying to the touch. Oh, oh, <laughs> fucking sucks. Why do they gotta make all those machines look so fun to play with? I'm just gonna Jesus. leave my foot right here. Don't back it up. What? Don't you want me to back it up? <laughs> and always remember, forklifts are not theme park rides. They are tools. Tools that can kill. Believe it or not, in the past, I've done exactly that. I haven't fallen off, but using a pallet on the forklift is just dumb as dumb. Never, ever drop a welding tank. Before you know it, you've got yourself a rocket-propelled weapon of mass destruction seeking revenge on those who don't respect proper safety precautions. You know, in all my years of working in the factory, safety always comes first. But at the same time, don't be a big old pussy. If I ask you to toss me a hammer, toss it right to my chest and I'll catch it. Don't be a bitch. You really got to be careful out here. They don't call this place the Widowmaker for nothing. A lot of blood's been spilled, but we're out here making an honest dollar. I'll be damned if a robot's going to take my job. Always wear your gloves. John complained that they made his hands too sweaty. Now... He's dead. John, what the fuck, bro? Are you alright? John, John, where are your gloves? John, where are your gloves? And remember, you should never, ever leave a truck parked in neutral. A forklift driver could unexpectedly fall out the back. And unfortunately, forklifts tend to roll. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jesus. Patrick, but you ain't got no sense of urgency around here, so I'm gonna have to let Is you go. Six or I'm seven. Sorry. Fuck. Stupid fucking shit. I'll show you a fucking sense of urgency. You know you like that? You're Stupid machine, yeah! Oh, 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 oh. I should have just flipped her off and told that bitch to go fuck herself. And remember that forklifts are forklifts, not some kind of Tokyo drift. <laughs> Crane's weight capacity is not meant to be tested. Oh,
careful when using a drill. Them screws will go right in your mouth. Uh, I'll never forget the time I let my guard down in the break room. Bill was new on a job and decided to take a forklift out for a joyride, but then he lost control. <laughs> right through my heart. They stuck that fork in me. I knew I was done. Uh, I would always hear Gary complain and say that he gonna blow up the place one day. I really wish I took him seriously. Never take a co-worker's absolute disregard of safety precaution as some sort of joke. Whether it be on purpose or some sort of accident, it could be the end of all of us. So remember, ask yourself every time you clock into work, are you prepared to die? Will you be here tomorrow? That was a messed up video. At work, we have health and safety drills into our heads every day, and though we watch so many health and safety videos, it's horrific sometimes. It really is. Um, we had a, a thing once where um, someone loaded the pallet onto a rack, and one of the um, what are they called the shelf the shelf brackets came loose on one edge, and what's going to happen? It's going to fall. Uh, one of the guys went up there on the ladder, and he managed to hook it back in. If that went the wrong way, he'd be dead. Health and safety is very important. Everyone has to listen to him. Everyone has to listen. But no one does. Safety shoes does get worn. Safety glasses doesn't get worn. It's a country waiting to go down the pan. Thanks for watching guys. Next time next video. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.